All right, we're back. We got some more Holy Mountain. This one's called Heavenless, and it's a straight up IPA at uh, 7%. You can see down there, get a better look at that uh, logo. They don't really have a whole much, a uh, whole lot going on. They don't tell you much about what's inside, but um, I assure you, their beers are real good. I've had this one um, one time before. I think I got last year's release, and it was a fucking phenomenal beer. I even held on to a can for a couple months because uh, I just didn't want to fucking kill it off, which is a stupid thing to do with IPAs because you're supposed to drink them fresh. But I held on to a couple months and I finally cracked it. And a lot of the hot bite had died off, but the fucking base IP was still pretty fucking good. Gotta be honest. Alright, we got the, uh, what is this, like, third anniversary, uh, Holy Mountain Cup here. At least I think it's third anniversary. Probably says on the fucking thing, but let's take a look. <clears throat> mm -hmm. third anniversary glass and it's just a fantastic IPA super juicy luckily I haven't lost my taste um, I have tested positive for COVID the wife got tested a couple days ago she tested uh, positive so I kind of felt like when uh, I started getting a little bit congested that I was next and uh, sure enough I got COVID as well but um, today I noticed a little bit of my smell was gone. It was really hard to smell my soaps and aftershaves. So, um, but I still have a fair amount of taste, which is, thank God. <clears throat> Anyhow, so we're going to be using some First Canadian Shave Mojito Chill. And as you can see there, intensely mentholated. And um, I'll just show you a little bit there. Made in Canada. Mojito Chill. Four ounces. And then some ingredients as well as the website. So there you go. Um, this is real nice stuff. I went with this one because not only does it have a really potent scent, it's really robust. Um, I think a little bit of the menthol helps because it kind of, uh, that crisp menthol chill cuts through the uh, congestion and kind of helps clear the passageways a little bit which brings up a topic that I'm gonna talk about um, during this shave um, if you are curious I have very light symptoms my wife had very light symptoms of COVID as well so <clears throat> there is that we're both doing good thankfully she's actually been working out every day like it hasn't slowed her down at all and it hasn't slowed me down at all uh, either. We got our Lancaster Bowl here with our uh, Smiles for Miles brush. I figured it would go well with uh, my Shave of the Day picture. This is the one with uh, real hops that were cast inside resin. And so, just a fucking beautiful brush. Bottle opener on the bottom. And then a V69 Soft Tete Knot. Um... So, let's talk a little bit about why I chose this soap, other than I could smell it just a little bit. So, it was about my second or third YouTube video when I started this channel, and um, I was sick at the time. And... I did a shave using a shave soap that was actually a, a little bit beneficial to my congestion that I was having. And so the theme of the shave was actually, you know, what do you use when you're sick and still want to get in a nice shave. So what I used that time was, it was a K-Shave Work soap um, called the Didge, or the Dil Dilch, or Ditch. No, I think it's Ditch, the Didge. 
and it's based off of a didgeridoo, which is a musical instrument um, made of eucalyptus, the uh, the reed or whatever on eucalyptus, and they kind of carve it into a musical instrument. And so the scent on it was eucalyptus forward, and eucalyptus is kind of beneficial to your respiratory system. Um, and, you know, like Vicks uh, Vapor Rub and whatnot has the uh, menthol and eucalyptus or whatever. And it kind of helps you breathe, breathe easy when you have congestion. And so, at, I've never really, I don't think that I've went back to this topic at all. But I always kind of wondered, I know I've brought it up in conversation with other shavers before. Um, do you guys use anything different? when you're sick and still want to get in a nice shape or do you just keep going business as usual uh, even though you might have congestion and might not be able to smell your soap like right now I can just pick up a little bit of citrus and then I get a fair amount of uh, menthol um, scent that is still cutting through But definitely I know for a fact that Mojito Chill from First Canadian Shave is robust. It is bright citrus, that mint, um, just really, really uh, beautiful, bright citrus scent, you know. And right now it's very subdued because I'm a little bit congested. congested. I got the uh, Charcoal Goods Level 2. Let's see if it will focus enough. Oh, it's upside down, but charcoal goods level two. I think if you zoom in, you might be able to see it. And then this has got a second use feather blade in it. I love this fucking uh, razor. I guess I forgot to mention this is a uh, Alpha Shaving Co outlaw razor handle and I absolutely love that razor handle as well um so when I did that shave back then I used something with eucalyptus in it uh, to kind of help open my passageways during my shave and um you know, it probably stuck around for a little while after my shave. It definitely helps. Um, helps you breathe easy with a little bit of eucalyptus. And so, I was just curious if any of you shavers out there do anything similar when you are sick. Do you have any soaps? Or aftershaves or even any gear I guess you know maybe you might do something different when you're sick rather than uh, normal but just curious do you do anything different when you're when you're sick or do you just shave you know business as usual nothing different um, because when I'm sick I kind of do like using some things that that cut through the congestion and um, or maybe they're just a little bit more beneficial in some ways rather than others. I don't really have a ton of eucalyptus scented stuff. I do have a lot of menthol um, soaps and so I'll probably be using a lot of menthol until I kick this. But um, just curious. I don't think I've really touched on it. So it's probably been, you know, over a year since I've touched on it. I don't know how long I've been doing YouTube for. Kind of sad, but I have no idea. I don't pay attention to those things. But, um, yeah. Just something I wanted to talk about because I brought it up in chat. And a lot of times people tell me 
that they just do business as usual. They'll just pick a shave just like they would. And um, a lot of people tell me that they put no thought into it. Um, but it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, there's room for improvement here. <clears throat> Finding ways to get a nice shave while you're sick. You know what I mean? There's room, there's room for improvement, especially if a ton of shavers had no game plan for shaving while they're sick. I definitely think there's a, there's room for improvement there. Same way you don't travel every day, but you have your travel set up. I definitely feel like you're not sick every day, but you could have a few soaps in the tuck that are um, more inclined to be enjoyable while you're uh, sick or ill. So let me know. And if you don't have anything, maybe tell me some of the things that uh, come to mind. Um, if, you, if any ideas come to mind about a, uh, a shave while you're ill. Alright. Looks like kind of ran out of a little bit of lather there. We definitely have enough, but... A little bit thinner than that first pass was. That V69 soft titty knot is one of those ones in my collection that it's so dense that it sometimes uh, eats some of that lather. So I try to load heavy to counteract that but sometimes we don't nail the uh, the mixture just right. It's a very enjoyable brush to use though, very soft, um, dense, plush. The way he set it gives it a nice medium backbone, so no real complaints. I don't mind loading heavy. I have a fucking shaving den full of multiple life sentences of soap. And the, uh, the soap base from First Canadian Shave is really good shit, so I'm not really putting any of it on the soap either. Probably could have loaded just a little bit heavier, and I would have had no issues whatsoever. I went right over the top of that blemish that's been kind of plaguing me my last few shaves and I didn't have any issues with it today so I'm happy to see that maybe it's on the road to healing up and disappearing you know when I first started shaving uh, the feathers definitely had a a very intimidating and daunting um, reputation about being so sharp and people have stories of how they absolutely butchered themselves with uh, feather blades and all this kind of the same way people had stories of the R41 I guess the R41 has been tamed a little bit by the manufacturer over time But, I don't know, now that I've had a couple shaves recently, um, with the feather, back to back, it's not, not intimidating. That, that charcoal goods isn't necessarily a, uh, mild razor, it's actually quite efficient, so, pairing it up with that feather probably really did the trick for me. <clears throat> It's probably going to be BBS plus. <laughs> uh, if I had to, if I had to guess, this is probably going to be super BBS because it's actually quite efficient with some of the 
more uh, medium sharp blades. So throwing in a feather, I think I'm going to be extra BBS today. Oh yeah. That's pretty fucking enjoyable. Um, it had a nice um, medium to medium high chill going on. Definitely able to uh, still enjoy that menthol even though the the scent, the beautiful mojito scent is definitely subdued. I could pick out just a little bit of the lime, but definitely not the full beautiful scent that, that I know and love from this soap. Um, that's all right. Hopefully my road to uh, recovery is very quick we've been we've been at home I've been at home since Saturday my wife has been at home since Wednesday so we have been it's been multiple days now so hopefully we'll see the end of this by next week and hopefully my sense of smell is back to normal because I got a lot of soap that I want to use but no reason to use it until I come out the other side of this sickness. So a lot of stuff is going to get put on hold. All right. I think I got the majority of it out of the beard. I'll get the rest off cam. Go ahead and clean the countertop. I wanted to show you guys this. I was on a group chat earlier with some of the degenerates. Um, or I should say, Marion and friends. <laughs> but uh, I was on the group chat with some of the degenerates, and uh, I busted out this uh, aftershave because I was trying to just smell things, see what, see what still had a little bit of scent to my congested nose. And I pulled this out, and like I do with all my aftershaves, I give it a shake. Well, I started shaking it, and I got splashed everywhere. And I looked at it, and the fucking cap is cracked along that seam. And you can see there, I lost some juice. You can kind of see the uh, the level of where it's at, hopefully. It's right about, right about there. I lost some juice um, in the inside of my aftershave drawer. It was on its side. It wasn't, um, it wasn't up, upright. I have some of my aftershaves in a drawer. So what I did was I took the cap off, put my finger over the top, and then shaked it. Uh, the mall or mail, whatever, mail, mowl, <laughs> however the fuck you want to pronounce it. They have a really nice um, aftershave. It's got some nice viscosity there, a little trace of um, ingredients. When you mix it up in your hand, ooh, that's not cute. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but. Anyhow, the scent on this one is another bright citrus, kind of briny, uh, aquatic. Oh, I gotta get that out of there. Sorry, guys. I'm sick. What'd you expect? Um, and I can't really smell it at all, to be honest. Maybe just a little bit of that citrus if I breathe deep, but very unfortunate. Because I know it's a beautiful scent. It's also very unfortunate that the cap seem to break for no fucking apparent reason. You can see it right above my finger. It kind of snapped. It just broke for no apparent reason and I lost some of my aftershave in the drawer. Definitely a fucking bummer because that's a good one. Luckily I still have about half of a bottle left. But um, yeah, so that was a good shave. Definitely let me know in the comments if you um, have any ideas for something you might use um, if you had to do a, a shave while you're ill, or if you already have um, stuff ready for when you are ill, uh, let me know. I'd like to know if you, it's ever crossed your mind, and if it has, I'd like to know what you use. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of um, concerns. I'm doing fine. The wife is doing fine. Thank you for the concerns. I'll just get that out of the way. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this shave. It was definitely pretty fucking enjoyable for being sick. And um, I hope you uh, uh, have a good weekend. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. It's, the, it's midweek. I hope you had a good day. Uh, thank you for the support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. <clears throat> God damn, that was a train wreck.